you know, going on the road in the environment uh, that we're in uh, was a factor. Um, you know, mobility is a bit of a factor. Um, it needed to be evaluated. Um, and then, uh, you know, certainly, uh, you know, grading out. Um, and, you know, I think from our, you know, overall perspective, um, you know, what of, of the guys, you know, who gives us the best chance to win is still about winning football games. And so when we added all those things up, that's, that's how we came up with the decision, but all those are accurate. Um, you know, we'll, we'll let it roll out when, when we get out on the field um, and kind of go from there. You know, the guys know uh, we've been practicing, you know, all week. So at this point, I think we'll just, and, and I don't think it's going to be a big surprise. Uh, Virginia Tech's, you know, seeing all three of these guys play. Regarding um, our former players, yeah, Harry, you know, obviously still lives in town. Um, and th those guys needed somebody because they stayed locally. Um, and, and Harry, um, obviously with his, his uh, availability, um, train those guys. We can't do it here. Our offensive line coach, Jeff Quinn, is not available to train, nor is any offensive staff or defensive staff training guys that are moving on to the NFL. So it was really fortunate that with these guys having apartments that are still under lease through the draft, that they were able to come back here. And um, with Harry being in town, uh, it worked out great that they were able to um, hook up with him and, and uh, get some uh, an experienced offensive line coach that, um, you know, coached in the NFL and here at Notre Dame uh, to get some work. So um, we're all for it. Uh, we're happy for them that they were able to get that kind of uh, um, uh, training, but it's not something that college coaches can do uh, for guys that move on uh, after uh, they've graduated. We're, we're embroiled in recruiting and um, doing other things. I, I think, you know, what I was saying more than anything else, it was important to, to, to really um, rally behind one quarterback, but it doesn't, it doesn't take the, the, the opportunity for us to be, um, um, you know, multiple, if we feel like Tyler Buckner can add to, you know, what we're doing uh, as a part of our offense. Um, I don't want to call him a wildcat because he's not, he can do much more, but you know, offenses use that um, as part of their established offensive structure. So uh, we need an established singular offensive structure. But if if we feel like um, we need to add to it uh, to be better at moving the football, I, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't say Tyler Buckner's out of the um, the options of, of playing uh, in any game.